Hey, what is up, guys? It is Azova, or you can call me Jason. I'm back here with another video, and we'll be showing you the easiest way how to make any image off the internet transparent. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go in the description and click on the link of pixlr.com. So, here's the website, it's going to bring you to this page. You're just going to scroll down a little bit and click on Pixlr Ed Editor, and then you're going to click on Launch Web App. It's going to take you to this website right here. Um, if you already have your image, then you're going to click on Open Image from Computer. Then you're going to scroll down or wherever and find your image that you want to select. So I I'm clicking this image right here, and you can bring it up in the menu. So what you're going to do when you have that done, you can click over here and click on Add New Layer. When you have your new layer added, you can click on your, the background, the, the first image that you picked here. You're going to double click on the lock, and when now what you did, you unlocked your image. So then you can use it. So then you're going to bring your image up and above the second layer that you created. So when you're selected on this image, or the, the layer, you're going to go over here until you can find your wand tool, which is right here. So what you're going to uh, start selecting stuff. You're going to start selecting your background. So when you have like some of this selected, but make sure it's not your image. So when you have it selected, you're just going to click on Backspace. And then you're just going to keep um, backspacing stuff out. And what you can also do is when you get this, like an image selected, you can uh, move it around, place it in backspace. So then that part can be taken away too. So that makes it much easier. So you, I'm just going to do it like that too. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to find like a little small piece like this and it will make the project so much easier because then you can get into small little spaces like this and trust me it will make life easier when you get your whole background taken away you can click on file save and you can change the quality to however good you want for this example I'll just I'll go shh, that's fine you can change it to all these different types of files. I'm going to change it to PNG because that's good for transparent. And you can name it to what you want. So I'll just name it Tanner because that's his name. Why not? If I can spell it maybe. Then you click OK. Then it's going to save to wherever. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to find it. So once you save it, it should look exactly like this. You can always touch up in between there, but I just did a little rough job just to show you of how to do it. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you have any video ideas, just please tell me down below. And thank you for watching. Let go, let go, let go, let go of everything.